Security Forces Address PDC Ke Panjan Area Commander KAAC CAM visits Choki Hola reviews the ongoing developmental work. Weekend lockdown effective in Karbi Anglong. Hello viewers, welcome to Karbi Anglong Live News. You are with Julie Baby with the latest news of the day. Now let's look into the news in detail. Babu Hansei, a resident of Kamoi Terang village in Jungtung area under Danarong, who was admitted in the isolation ward of Dipu Medical College and Hospital, has passed away on June 27 at his own residence. He was discharged from the hospital on being tested negative of COVID-19, but unfortunately, he succumbed to his illness. On being tested positive of COVID, the victim was first kept in the isolation ward where his treatment was being done. After several days of medication, the doctors on June 17 declared that he has been cured of the virus. Accordingly, Babu was sent home as per the direction of maintaining distance from family and society. He stayed in a separate makeshift home where he passed away on Saturday due to some undiagnosed ailment. <laughs> Fearing of infection, no one dared to touch the deceased body. The matter was then immediately informed to the then Arong Primary Health Center and Havarkihat medical team who rushed to the spot. However, no one was ready to touch the deceased body after which an excavator was called to bury the body. First, a simple test lo, a sad lang lang lo. Oh. Uh, first simple lo bangke, the recrypt fee, even clock, it has been uh, 20. Along with one report, uh, the Sudaka report has been made. Positive and take the clang law, but it's so do put the clang law. Oh, Lapenke, a cool along with Han, yes, to law, but and take the clang that they pan lang to law. Again, simple over, second for law. Sari Kinkora Hini, Leon Trop, a Hutilang law, a Langso Hutako positive to see, but it's so do bomb lang to see clang law. Oh, Sita me, it home, a get yes to over, a sample of anke, Sari Kora Po, a Ziklion Trop. Bikram Tiran reporting from Danaro, Karbiang Long Live. In another success for security agencies, a PDC Care Panjan area commander was arrested in a joint operation conducted by a team of the Assam Police and Indian Army on Sunday. Based on specific intelligence input of Army, a joint operation was launched by Army and Assam Police in remote village of Panjan under police station during which the area commander of PDCK named Bonet Taro alias Waisong Teron, aged 35 years, son of Sansiram Teron, a resident of Poisa Intigao, Panjan under Chokihula police station was arrested. The team also recovered one remote control IED and PDCK demand pad during this operation. News X Report, Carbian Long Live. Let's take a quick commercial break. Stay with us for more news. Welcome back after the break. Karbi Anglong Mass Council CEM Tuliram Ronghang had on Sunday visited Chokihola and adjacent areas to acquaint of the various problems local people are facing during the ongoing period. The KAAC chief also reviewed the ongoing development works in the area. On his way to Chokihola, the CEM made a sudden visit for inspection of the ongoing construction of Koilamati Bridge, which has been going on since a long time. He assured the local residents that bridge will be completed very soon and also say that new schemes like boundary wall 
are failing and open stage will be taken up in the area very soon. He also said that a new transformer will also be installed for the area. On reaching Chokihola, the KAAC chief had a short meeting at the Chokihola BJP office to hear out the grievances of the people of Nili constituency. After thorough discussions with the local people, CM announced that a community hall in Chokihola with an estimate amount of Rs 15 lakhs would be constructed very soon. In addition to this, CM Ronghang also announced that 100 RCC ring well under Nili constituency would also be constructed. CM Ronghang further stated that Chokihola will be the next to be declared as town of the Hill district. Bringing much relief and joy to the local people of the entire constituency, the CM announced that Koilamati Arlongrupat High School would not be shut down as per the assurances given by Assam Health Minister Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma in a meeting held at Hamran Circuit House on June 9, 2020. It may be noted that the CEM was also accompanied by local MAC of Nili Pabitra Rompi and several other party workers. News Extra Report, Carbiang on Live. With the aim of encouraging young students towards education, youth organizations across the district have stepped up to felicitate the successful candidates of HSLC and HSSLC. In a program held in Joseph Terang Memorial Hall, the Delight branch of Carby Students Association felicitated successfully students of the area. During the program, local social worker Bida Ingling attended as resource person, while Dr. Jirja Timungpura attended as invited guest. Apart from them, KSA CEC General Secretary Than Singh Timun, KSA Bokajan Regional Committee Secretary Nobin Rompi, Dilai OC Ranjit Hajarika, Social Worker Joy Singh Timun and other dignitaries were also present. During the day, the Inglong Thepo Student and Youth Development Committee also organized Awareness Come Felicitation Program at Mensing Hanse Village, Rongtukong, 15 km far from Center Market under Puloni constituency, Karbi Anglong on Saturday. Students from this remote village who have succeeded in the recent board's exams were felicitated during the event. Vijay Rongpi from Delhi reporting for Karbi Anglong Live. With the government's strict orders of lockdown on weekends, the effect was visible in town and municipal areas of Karbi Anglong, with all works being suspended except the emergency services. In Deepu, people came out only for emergency works. Only few vehicles involved with medical and other essential services were seen flying. Similar was the scene in Dongmukak and Havarkihat as market, shops and other business establishments remained shut on Saturday and Sunday. In Assam, the total numbers of COVID-19 positive cases have reached 7,165, out of which 4,814 patients have been discharged and 2,338 are still active cases. Meanwhile, that toll in the state has also climbed to 10. On the other hand, the death toll to the country by COVID have crossed 16,000 mark and with more than 10,000 new cases being reported daily as the positive cases pass 5 lakhs 38,000 mark. News X report, Kirby Long Live. Well, that's all we have with us for today. Thank you for watching Kirby Long Live. Have a good day.